Puzzle Gauntlet. No introduction needed. As per usual, you know, do all that YouTube stuff that they recommend. <clears throat> First story. We gotta change the pace. We got Electro Blade Black Widow. And we gotta collect 18 blue AP. We'll look at the story. Talk about what all the characters are gonna do, their interactions, and who I'm going to best use to complete this challenge. Oh, well, carefully choose your team and test your skill in this special puzzle ops mission. Okay. Alright, Electra normally is a purple, black, and red user. Our purple is going to create strike tiles for us at at seven purple. If you happen to have any strike tiles on the board, she'll steal them, convert them to to whatever amount of damage. I mean, what whatever strength strike tiles are going to be, and then she'll give us some some more weaker ones. Her red ability is going to steal red, purple, and black AP for eight red blade is the nastiest one of the group uh, bloodlust as long as there are red tiles on the board which is his passive ability he's gonna create uh, a random red strike tile if he has nine or more red AP at the start of the turn, he will do random damage to, to any member of our team. And it does a certain amount of damage. This will last until he has less than seven red AP, well, six red AP, and then that'll start the strike top madness again. Green ability, this call this costs nine does team damage and it heals and it heals blade if blade has more than seven ap is either seven red ap or nine red ap but if he has some whatever the threshold is for the red ap he'll heal you know some amount of damage off and then his black ability, Supernatural Sense, costs 11 and cost 11. Um, convert some number of basic tiles to red tiles. Um, if if there are, if he has more than seven red AP, convert uh, an additional amount. I think that's what it is. I hardly hardly ever use Supernatural Sense because. I'm usually using Blade for his bloodlust and pairing him up with with half four and all that shenanigans. And then Black Widow, she's gonna be the the uh, the nastiest one of them all, as uh, Deadpool would say in Deadpool versus MPQ. Her purple ability, Espionage. This one costs 11 AP. It steals. It steals AP in all colors, and I think it should be four AP in all colors. And then her espionage ability, which is her black. I don't know if I said the purple was aggressive, was a re aggressive recon or not, or if it was espionage. But her purple ability is called aggressive recon, and her black is espionage. Espionage, as long as she tanks purple, black, and blue, which in this case here, she might be tanking, I know she'll be tanking, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I have to actually look at her, um, her, um, her match damage, I mean, we'll take a look at her match damage to see who's tanking what, but anyway, uh, if Black Widow is tanking, uh, 
purple, blue, or black. And, I, and what I mean by tanking is if the if the strongest color on the board or the strongest colors on the board for their team happen to uh, have black widow tiles then she's going to do some amount of damage to us and then she's going to steal black purple or blue AP according to whatever she matched and then blade blade strike tiles will increase the damage her espionage is going to do alright now as per usual we use three stars and four stars simply because I know a lot of the, the viewers of these videos here they tend to be four star players or you know some of them might be five star players but want to want to see how another four star five star player does it I, for you guys I always do threes and fours just to show you hey this challenge can be done by just about anybody um all right since we need to collect uh blue ap well there's there's just one man for the job an iron man so to speak <clears throat> so he'll be our primary primary uh user for yellow um since i want as much yellow as we can for recharges we'll bring bring in cloak and dagger and to speed up the the timing of our tiles we'll bring in agent colson um boost you know if you need to bring in any boost in go for it here we'll bring team ups keep it keep everything neutral all right now i want to take a look at y'all's uh match damage okay purple keep this here in mind now whoops purple 84 black 65 blue 74 so she's taking purple for sure or excuse me she's taking blue for sure yeah so we gotta worry about about black widow taking blues Electra and Blade are going to do their thing. So, a couple things we need to keep in mind. We need to we need to keep red off the board for Blade, and we need to keep um, some some number of uh, other special tiles off the board that we probably. Probably also gonna need to deny black too, maybe. So we're almost there to the to the blue. Alright, let's make this match five to get rid of all those yellows. We'll recharge once. See, and that's the beautiful thing about Agent Colson. Colson's already got us uh, on the on the right path. <coughs> <coughs> it's okay if one of those there disappears. I should have matched the blue there. I wasn't paying attention. Tools of the trade that'll damage us a little bit. Supernatural sense, there's a drain. Alright, there's a match five in yellow. And this time I will make make it my business to match the blue. I could have been done could have been done a turn earlier, but instead I got tunnel vision. Pretty simple, straightforward. All right, the next one we gotta collect 20 green AP. Um, okay, so there's a story behind this. All right, Mysterio. 
Um, I gotta, I gotta jog through the memory real quick with Mysterio. His blue, if you collect um, some number of blue AP, he um, he can randomly stun an opponent. His purple power, it costs, is it seven or is it eight purple? But it, it allows him, it's a, it creates uh, some number of uh, trap tiles on blue if they're matched away they're they're dealt we're dealt damage for for the trap tiles that are matched away and he happens to turn invisible as well and then his yellow ability um it creates a three turn countdown tile that um as long as it's on the board anytime that that yellow is matched it creates purple and then when the countdown tile reaches zero, uh, it either heals Mysterio or does damage to either his allies or to us. So again, I think I think that's how his yellow works. You know what? Let, let let's not let's not guess. Let me actually give you this the actual powers of Mysterio. And, and plus two, double check for myself. From thin air, see here, yeah, three turn, yeah, it turns invisible, creates blue trap tiles, deals damage, and then, oh, this is the part that I forgot. If Mysterio is invisible, it deals more damage. All right, then for my next trick, yeah. Um, I, I did say about I did say about the stun, but I didn't go into the components as to the conditions of the stun. Um, the Mysterio has eight or blue, eight or more blue AP, convert five blue to yellow, and then deal damage to the highest level enemy. And if he still has five or more blue, uh, stun stun the target for two turns, and then the pledge. Like I said, anytime you match yellow. Uh, you gain purple AP, and then you either steal or burst the health from a random um, enemy or ally with the heal. So, like I said, I was I was pretty close to um, to getting all the mysterious powers right, but um, you know, all right, it happened. Uh, Thor, well, at least you don't have to worry about Thor generating yellow. So, red power, it costs eight Mjolnir's might. Thor converts some number of, uh, of basic tiles to, to yellow, and he does damage to the target, and then Call of the Storm is his, is his team attack, uh, so he does significant damage to the target, and then he does um, a little bit less damage to the uh, to the remaining members of the enemy team. And then Red Hulk, well, he's the guy that, that we're going to have to um, work around, but I'm going to be bringing in my own Red Hulk, spoiler alert, to uh, to deal with this. Uh, his red ability, if uh, Red Hulk is uh, dealt a certain amount of damage, creates a uh, one turn countdown tile, deals damage to the target, and uh, destroys some number of random tiles on the board. Again, the levels that you have it at, he's gonna, he'll destroy more basic tiles. Uh, red ability gam um I'm, why am I about to call this here again I was about to call his red ability his uh I mean his green ability his purple ability gamma siphon but I forget I forget what his green ability is called so once we get to my red hole I'll remember what it is 
But anyway, he for a 9 green AP, it does team damage, and if you have 18 green AP, uh, it does even more damage, and then uh, it also drains all of your green AP, you know, whenever you fire for fire. So there's no sense in in banking up you know 25 green ap and then using the power you don't get any additional damage behind it and then this purple ability gamma siphon uh cost cost seven purple um drains all the enemies uh green ap and then you gain seven uh seven green ap or if your opponent doesn't have any green AP, you still gain seven green AP. All right. Now again, I could bring in Iron Man 40 to help to help things out, and certainly it would work. It would work. Oh no, what is your green ability called? Hammer and Anvil. That's what it's called. We won't be seeing Hammer and Anvil. So we'll bring in bring in red hulk um you could bring in iron man 40 i'm bringing in vulture to help us accelerate both uh to help us accelerate in green and then um trying to think of who is another green user i mean person that can help us generate green that's not iron man 40 uh i could use dark beast but dark beast um we would need some number of special tiles i could use uh throg for um for some number of special tile i mean for uh for maybe potentially uh drawing drawing up um charge tiles oh amadeus cho i know i know i know like, oh but they're conflicting he has a countdown tile that helps us generate green. He can generate green with this purple. When he goes airborne, he's giving us even more green. Second thing we want to do, we do not want to target Red Hulk. No, 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 no. Yeah, I gave them purple here. It's okay at the at the beginning. Grab green. Cho does a little bit of damage. We're halfway, halfway to glory. Let's match this way. Uh, we'll give you red. Much as I want uh, Red Hulk to tank, to tank the hit. Get even more green and then we're we're less than a match or two away let's match it this way all right one more match and that's that's the fight all right next one and collect 25 red AP and I'm pretty sure for the uh, for the duration of these series I probably won't have to pick any uh, to look at the story all right this try and keep this this one as simplistic as I possibly can uh, Iceman whiteout cost 12 uh, green it does team damage uh, and if there there, ha there happens to be you know a lot more blues on the board, uh, his his green ability gets a little bit stronger. His blue ability is um, build a snowman, stuns stuns a target for four turns. Uh, then for another six AP, um, you can punch him in the face with the ability called punch a snowman 
Uh, it deals target damage to the target, and then it, remo it removes the countdown tile that's on the board. And then Iceman's purple ability, um, cold as ice. It costs eight. Uh, it drains us of some number of some amount of red AP, and also creates uh, uh, well, it converts some number of of red tiles, red basic tiles to blue basic tiles. So you can imagine cascades getting out of control if there are some red and blue red tiles that are converted to blue, and like cascades can happen. All right, um, she hulk uh, her settlement ability costs nine in blue. Um, it converts a special tile that belongs to us to a friendly special tile, and then it reduces the um, the amount of damage a a particular special tile will have on the board. Um, but if we had no special tiles, that power there won't be used. A green ability. Uh, Furious Charge, one of the most annoying abilities in the game. Um, it costs 6 green. It drains 100% AP in one random color. And then in the second color, it drains, I want to say, 75% or maybe 50%. But at least one AP pool is just complete. It's just gone. At, at least the devs were nice enough to to not put that at five, where where it would be two AP pools that are completely drained. And then her red ability, uh, power of attorney, cost nine, does team damage, and then does a bottom board shape, so it will destroy some number of tiles of the of the bottom of the board, and then the board will shift down. Um, after the uh, cascades are done, and then Mordo, <clears throat> uh, his black staff of living tribunal, this costs nine. It does it does single target damage, and then it creates two charge tiles if there are at least well charge tiles on on black. It will convert a basic tile into well two basic black tiles into black charge tiles and if there are at least uh four black charge tiles when he fires off that power um he'll do additional damage to the target um his blue ability uh, the name always escapes me uh it converts um Whatever our strongest color is, it converts some number of basic tiles uh, to black charge tiles and then does target damage. And then it's purple ability power without a purpose, power, power with a purpose, or it might be without a purpose. But anyway, um, it costs nine. Uh, it deals damage based on whatever our our highest AP total is so so if you have like 25 red AP uh yeah that might actually knock somebody out of the fight completely and since we gotta generate red AP well well there's only there's only one man for the job Hulkbuster um to help us generate the red AP we're gonna supplement him with cloak and dagger because cloak and dagger can help us make black and where's where's his good friend iron fist or actually actually no i don't i mean i do want cloak and dagger but at the same time too i need to help help us accelerate the uh the purple because we might not have the purple so i'll go with scarlet witch all right explanation behind the Behind Scarlet Witch, when the counter tile reaches zero, she creates some number of purple tiles. Um, 
basic purple tiles, Iron Fist likes purple, purple, as long as he doesn't have, uh, red up on, I mean, uh, 12 AP in black, he'll just continuously create, um, uh, black special tiles, uh, I mean, black basic tiles of purple, and then since we're using Hulkbuster, uh, Hulkbuster's, uh, black ability, that will, uh, that'll help us to generate red AP, so we get at least, so we get at least, um, two castings of overdrive that'll get us to 20, 20 HP, I mean 20 red AP in itself. So as long as we can keep anywhere between seven, five to seven AP in red, we're okay. Um, again, I'm not going to use any, uh, AP boost. Uh, if you were in five star land, half four. Like, literally just run half four and then go bananas. Uh, here, well, let's target old, old She-Hulk. I know, uh, Iceman will probably be the, the bigger threat, but we need, uh, we need prevention. Prevention of, uh, her, her green to go off. I'll take the purple here. They'll take a match four. Let's let's grab this green while we can. Grab some more green. Hopefully they won't match away the countdown tile. If they don't. That's a good opportunity to grab purple. Oh, I spoke too soon. Power vaulting boots of Baltor, that's what it's called. See, and that's the thing that, that I was afraid of. I'm gonna wait one turn, see what what AP pool she's gonna drain us from. Okay. She drained this from, from purple. Eh, not a problem. Not a problem. I could have matched the black up there. Cold as ice. Again, that drains us, drains us of red, but that's perfectly okay. Again, as I said, what we're gonna do, we got to. We got to keep some number of red tiles available. There's nine. Iron Fist of Kun Lun. All right, overdrive again. That's that's 17. We'll fire off another cast in the Iron Fist of Kun Lun. Overdrive again. There's your 25. Alright, so this one here, change the pace round four, cloak and dagger, deadpool in the hood, uh, collect 28 yellow AP, no black tiles will fall, cloak and dagger, um, the purple ability would actually help us, uh, collect the yellow AP, but since they don't, uh, They're not going to be doing the whole swapping back and forth thing uh, with their uh, pocket dimension power. We have to mainly contend about their uh, their attack tiles. But since they said no black will fall, huh? Okay. But anyway, uh, their yellow ability, uh, light daggers. 
uh, it does well it does one or two things uh, first if there are no no special tiles on the board or no enemy attack protect strike tiles on the board it'll do team damage uh, but if there are strike attack or protect tiles on the board then it'll remove it'll remove some number of those and then do uh, a single target damage and then their black ability um, if there's some number of black tiles on the board it'll create uh, a red attack tile but if there's there's fewer than whatever the number of, of, of black tiles that's on the board um, they'll create they'll create some black tiles so so there's your there's your black generation there um, Spicy Deadpool. Um, I know his blue ability is called Weighed and Measured. Um, anytime that that they make a match with the with whatever our strongest color happens to be, uh, Deadpool will steal steal some AP and then um, do do some single target damage to um, whomever whomever the uh the strongest color happens to be uh his red ability is called abyssal um abyssal blade i think it's called abyssal blade so i know it costs eight in red it stuns the target for for a turn or two or no i think it's one turn and then if it happens to be matched away it'll i think it stuns the target again and i think it does damage um, I'll double check it once we get into the fight and then his uh, black ability does one of a handful of things uh, if you have you can do the single target damage uh, if you have some number of green AP stored it'll it'll do something else if you have some not some number of yellow AP it'll do something else if you have some number of um, I'm trying to think here. Is it purple? Yeah, you have you know, purple. It does something else. So, so his black does various things based on whatever uh, AP that you have in. You know, you have banked up, and then you get a you get to choose what you want to do. Um, then the hood, um, his blue ability is a passive, uh, it steals one AP and whatever, uh, whatever tile, whatever color of tile is most, uh, prevalent on the board. So an example would be if we happen to have yellow AP and there's, there happens to be yellow, yellow tiles on the board. Well, nine yellow tiles up on the board. Who's going to steal one of those yellow tiles? I mean, w one yellow AP from us. And then uh, his twin pistols ability costs 15 yellow. Um, it destroys um, a a three by three, two three by three blocks uh, of uh, tiles. And again, you can select the. Uh, the the tile that is, the tiles that are going to be destroyed but it does single target damage destroys those tiles you don't gain AP from the tiles that are destroyed but it but it ends the hood's turn so we need to collect yellow AP now I'm gonna think here um since I know yellow I mean black isn't gonna drop I want to say Elsa Bloodstone actually might be might be good for this here with her uh Todd darling yeah yeah so I'll bring in Elsa Bloodstone for that um who else do I know that generates uh 
yellow. Oh, Kingpin. Duh. His purple ability, though. But really, well, okay, her purple is passive. Okay, his is active. That'll work. Uh, and then I need another, another, uh, yellow user. Oh! No, I can't bring in Rogue because then her power cycle will kick in. So, no, bad idea. Bad idea. It's like... Hey, kind of redundant to use you because we kind of need, uh, kind of one our yellow. So, no go there. Mm. I don't want to use cloak and dagger because that's, that's going to be, you know, a redundant thing. Hmm. Who else do I know generates yellow? I'm saying this is racking my brain. This is racking my brain. <laughs> yeah, and, um, what's the name does it too? Sandman, though, though. Kingpin's is a lot more, a lot more efficient for us to do. So we just need somebody to, uh, I'm going to shift his powers real quick because we're not going to be using Wilson's Gambit. I just need somebody to, uh, to help us bring in, bring in some purple. So I guess we'll bring in, uh, Scarlet Witch again. Um. Uh, and then she can hide behind the both of them. Alright, since we know no blacks are gonna drop, uh, let's target the hood. But remember, we also need purple as well. There's Child of Darkness, so again, we gotta, we gotta contend. Contend with keeping uh, black off the board somewhat. Not one of those calculating move situations. <coughs> yeah, that's the one thing though I have I do have to be a little bit careful about. Alright, so still gotta collect twenty-eight. So Big man, you might go to sleep for a while. Yep, there's the Abyssal Blade just to restart the stun. Uh, as much as I want to match the yellow going that way. Weighed and measured. Uh, that'll drop down. Fist defense again. And there we go. Get those light knives. Oh yeah, that's where I was supposed to check the Deadpool's power, what his other abilities were. Oh well. Ooh. This is one where I kind of wish I had two star um, Ms. Marvel actually um, actually ready to go in my uh, in my stash. Uh, well, I'll explain why because she helps create team up tiles. All right, so we got. Captain Marvel, North Star, and Magneto, 
Uh, North Star, I do need to go up into the roster to, uh, to read off his powers, because because sometimes I, well, you know, sometimes I do forget what his powers do. Alright, running early, cost 8 blue, it deals target damage, generates AP for each yellow, black, and blue tile destroyed, but destroyed tiles don't generate AP or deal damage. Uh, Star Bright, I think this one here was at 5. I think whatever the case may be converts um, five, some number of basic tiles of the strongest color of the target strongest color to team up tiles, create a three turn countdown tile or or just a countdown tile uh, targeting a random ally and then while this tile is on the board uh, on the board um, a random ally gets gets a turn of invisibility and uh, a burst amount of health as long as the countdown tile is on the board and then up north uh, <clears throat> a target airborne when the target lands destroys three AP and two basic tiles and the airborne enemies second strongest color and then deal damage per tile that's destroyed I don't think we have to worry about that portion of the ability. I don't think we have to deal with up north, but we, I know we do have to deal with the. No, we got to deal with up north. So okay. So at least we know that is blue. Blue ability. That's the ability we don't have to worry about them all too much. But it's yellow. We do. Um. Captain Marvel. Her. Her black ability, if she takes um, some amount of damage, she'll generate red, red and yellow AP. Or actually, hang on, no, it's red and yellow AP. I was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking. Um, I'm thinking about something else, but. So generate AP and and red and yellow. Um, again, at level five, I think it's I know it's five red and some number of yellow. And then a black ability, uh, stun the target for two turns, create a strike tile, uh, for us. Magneto. We don't have to worry about his yellow ability, but his red ability destroys team of tiles on the board. And that costs eight. And then his uh, blue ability, mag magnetic, uh, magnetized projectiles cost 10. Um, swaps up to seven red tiles to with seven blue tiles and then deals damage for the amount of swap tiles uh, that was swiped or swapped and so we gotta create team up tiles and the perfect person that I would have like I said would be Carol Captain Marvel but her strategic command where I would have it at, it would cre create nine random tiles so here I just gotta deal deal with that um and again, I need I need a yellow converter, and yeah, it'll have to be Kingpin. So I'm gonna bring him back in health, and then I'll bring Scarlet Witch back up to health. Um, now for the five star version, yeah, you just pretty much use a Koye, spam yellow, make team up tiles. There you go. Uh, another person you probably could use is Star Storm because her hers destroys team up tiles and generates uh, team up AP. So that's a that's a secondary solution, and that's probably who I would go with on the second time, second go round. Main thing we gotta do match up those team ups. 
Mash those team ups up. <clears throat> I'll go this way. Much as I'm, I want the match for, that's not our priority right now. Now, what was it that energy absorption? Yeah, fi okay, I misspoke. It was five red and three black. Okay, that was a complete misspeak by me. Talking about she generates yellow. Oh, uh, we gotta grab these team up here while we got a chance to. Say, say bye bye to all those team ups for the time being. Well, at least the game wasn't wasn't completely mean and and was like oh hey well we're gonna bring in um oh no 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 that gives you a match five no sacrifice play as uh, captain america would say so at least it didn't bring in uh old onslaught to this fight because if onslaught was here yeah, that would be, that would not be a pretty sight. Destroying all of, destroying all our team ups. Match it this way, and then we just got one more set of team up tiles to collect. Well, after Magneto does does what he does best. gonna have to bring it around town as Spongebob would say bring it around town there we go jeez and there's our there's a reset for the the season that's coming up so we're about 45 minutes away from from the season starting yeah according to my clock so that's complete. Um, collect 18 black AP. Uh, on our turn, new tiles have an increased chance to be blue. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge here. Namely because God of for Doom and his blue ability. Uh, anytime that we make a match in his colors which is which happens to be yellow black and blue uh he steals he steals one of those ap from us whenever we make a match and it also heals him as well uh his yellow ability uh brave new world does a board swap and gives a burst heal to both Jean gray and craven um now Craven's abilities always always forget, so I'll look at his once we get done with Jean Grey. Um Jean Grey, her purple ability, mind over matter. That costs uh ten. Removes uh removes uh up to some well four special tiles, at least at level four. At level five is six. But removes some number of special tiles from the board and then does team damage. Um, our blue ability, psychic feedback. We make a match five, we're stunned for two turns. And then uh, team damage as well. And then her green ability um, costs 12 uh, anytime that. Um, well. Not any time. Uh, it creates uh, some number of attack, protect, or strike tiles on the board. I think it's just attack, attack, and strike tiles. And then it does team damage. 
And then with uh, Craven, let me actually double check with Jean Grey real quick because I know I'll be running into her first. Because my Craven is not not too much high, higher than her. There won't was full of surprise. Okay, it was attack protector or or strike tiles. Okay, so I was right the first time. And let's find Craven, which he was actually one row underneath her. Uh, Wounded Pride, because I always forget about this ability here. Wounded Pride uh, creates a uh, countdown tile. Now, it creates a countdown tile, uh, destroys AP uh, in the enemy's and strongest. Well, the enemy and allies strongest colors dealing damage uh, for each point of AP destroyed. So an example would be if our strongest color happens to be green and their strongest color happens to be black, then we're going to get dealt damage in both green and black. So it so it's gonna hurt a little bit um think like the enemy this is his passive i know i know this here for sure um if you have some number of special tiles on the board attack protect or strike tiles uh he will reduce them down by a certain amount and you get dealt damage uh accordingly uh you know target damage yep Um, and then the most dangerous game, this is also a 10 blue AP ability. Uh, it creates a trap child on the board. Uh, it steals one AP and, uh, and a random color as long as the trap child is on the board. Um, and then when the trap child is matched, um, convert some number of basic tiles to the enemy's strongest color and then deal target damage. So we got a uh, handful to deal with, but at least we got, but at least we can collect 18 black. And so, like the featured characters here are Hawkeye, Iron Man, uh, Valkyrie, Cyclops, and of course Winter Soldier. So I gotta think here. I gotta think. I wanna collect. I want to collect black, which again, that's. Ah, no, we'll do the fist buster again. Oh, no, I can't do fist buster because Hulk Buster's locked in. Alright, so I want somebody that can help us generate black. That strongest color isn't black. And I might. Look here, I might have to go with Mordo. Man, let's use Mordo. Use him. And then I could probably use Doctor Doom as well. But I'm also going to need somebody's going to... Well, Iron Man's going to help us generate blue, so I'm not worried about that. Um, Oh, well, no, 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 again. Can't bring in Rogue because... Because of her... Uh, her abilities... Or with the power siphon. Um, Marcus Hive is a critical tile to be cool. I'm trying to think here. Who else can help us generate black that's not cloak and dagger? Because, because again, that's the that's the simplest solution. Could bring in three star storm to help us uh help us with board shakes yeah i'll i think i'll do that yeah bring in three star storm with, with board shakes uh dark beast would actually be a good option too especially if they match up uh they match our critical tiles because again his black ability bleeding it uh no actually no 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 no, no. we don't want dark beast because i thought about the old craven so nope, bad idea. Go with Storm. Because we won't be using our black anyways. Oh there she there she is. Alright. 
get Craven. All right, we'll, we'll recharge, create some red. Again, we want to avoid avoid our um <clears throat> our our special tile uh, being matched away. Uh, that's not really advantageous to us just yet. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Gotta bring. Gotta bring the board down just a little bit. All right. Nope, 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 nope. Avoid match fives. See, that one there I really couldn't help. You're like, oh my god. He's like, I, I couldn't have couldn't avoid that match bomb. Uh I really wish I had a stun, but that's board shake. Nah, man. It's like Y'all like, oh my god, dude, you're living on the edge. Yes, I am. Yes, I am living on the edge. All right, we're, we're going to avoid firing that off. Wounded Pride, now I gotta try and at least get a viable, viable match. Full of surprises, that'll hurt just a little bit. Again, our strongest color doesn't have, ha doesn't happen to be black, it's red. Well, there goes part of my generation there. Oh, well, still got it anyways. See, despite all the, the match fives and, and, and them still in all my AP, yeah, it still worked. Alright. Collect 28 blue AP. Uh, new tiles have an increased chance to be red. War Machine, he happens to use red. His red cost um, nine. Uh, creates a fortified red countdown tile. Um, anytime that War Machine's team makes a match, you have an increased chance to drop uh attack or strike tiles on the board uh and then when a countdown tower reaches zero it does targeted damage on uh, the countdown tower i think lasts four turns um again at level five then his blue ability um destroys any invisibility tiles and then does target damage uh Again, it's pretty nasty ability, and then Gatling Gun costs nine green, creates two two countdown tiles. Uh, I think it's two. It might be three, but some number of countdown tiles on the board that 
that are two turns and then when they reach zero uh they destroy uh some number of tiles surrounding the uh, the countdown tile and of course you don't gain any ap from it uh blade night stalker is is nine in black or is it eight in black i forget what night stalker is but i know i think it is eight in black um deals target damage creates a one turn repeater tile that at the start of blades team turn um it'll train ap in our whatever the target's strongest color was so if, if blade happens to target um a user whose strongest color happens to be blue well it's gonna generate it's gonna steal blue ap um purple ability uh it costs it costs 10 uh creates a an attack tile on the board i'm used to this here being at level four at level five but it creates an attack tile on the board and the attack tile will be strengthened if there are a more than six red strike tiles on the board or just six strike tiles on the board in general and then finally uh his red ability uh creates uh two strike tiles on red uh the strength the strength will vary depending upon the level of your blade and where you have uh, his green ability at. And then finally, Nico Minoru, uh, her her blue ability. Well, I gotta go gotta go through the roster again because because saying what her abilities are, they always give me a bit of a not a not a brain cramp which is what it's technically doing now she's not that high is she i've probably been scrolling for a while trying to find her there she is 335. uh when blood is shed uh whenever she takes damage uh creates a 10 turn countdown tile blue countdown tile and then while the counter tiles on the board, um, she has an ability called freeze, costs nine blue, uh, stuns the target uh, for three turns, and if you have any counter tiles on the board, um, stun. So you were stunned and additional turns for each counter tile that's removed. Try not to die. This costs seven uh, in both categories. Um, while the counter tile is not on the board, she creates three three protect tiles. But if there are okay, yeah, say if there's protect tiles on the board, uh, their strength is increased by twenty percent. But Nico. Nico ignores them and then um then the heal portion of it while the counter tile is on the board uh she still creates those three uh protectiles but she restores health for each friendly protectile that's on the board max to six and the mystical affinity uh at the start of the turn if you have more special tiles than your uh than your opponent again attack protect strike tiles uh increase increase them by uh the listed amount and then trifecta which costs eight purple if you have the countdown tile on the board um creates a strike attack or protect tile at the listed strength and then of course the um the passive of mystical affinity all right like i said i always forget how to how to use her so you have to collect 18 20 blue ap and i got just the just the dude to do it 
And no, it ain't Iron Man. Hi, Clint. Since since I, I was reading an article about you um, talking about your brand new TV show. So him, Carnage, and Medusa. And now the idea is anytime that we match any of our special tiles on the board, uh, we're going to gain AP in, in whatever color whatever color uh, Medusa randomly chooses and then Hawkeye's um, Hawkeye's black no good news again helps us helps us uh, put special tiles on the board for the enemy and then we're also going to gain AP behind that now again I could do this here a lot faster with the 5 star version of Carnage with the auto match but but no Game target blade because again we don't we don't want too many of his special talents on the board. There's red. There's there's some blue generated there. Match green. Then, and then when Blade puts out special talents on the board, that's going to help us out. We'll match these two here. Nico will strengthen up those tiles, and that's perfectly fine by me. That's just more AP. Hair metal to, to do a board swamp. We'll match blue. Get a quick heal. Thank you for the AP. I need that. More AP. So we're, we're halfway to glory. Let's board shake it. Not once, but twice. Grab this blue here. Again, if Mr. Lavinia is going to hurt us a little bit, but again, nothing. Nothing that Clinton Medusa can't heal off from. There's 28 there. More support tokens on the way. We'll have to look at that uh, store pretty soon. And then finally, puzzle it over, collect uh, 30 green AP. Uh, new tiles have an increased chance to, to be purple, so we'll, so we'll use Red Hulk again. Um, America Chavez, her uh, red ability increased the, uh, the strength of her, uh, her match damage, um, you know, proportionate to the amount of AP that, that she has um, more than the enemy well just period uh, and again this what is it it's like 30% uh, increased match damage and in whatever color whatever color she has AP in um, her yellow ability ticket to the multiverse anytime you make a match for uh, she creates um, trap tiles on the color that she makes a match four on, and if she happens to have four or more uh, trap tiles on the board that have different colors, uh, she gains AP and and all but one of the colors that selected deals deals some deals some amount of target damage 
removes those trap tiles from the board. And then Fear Not Me Hente, it's a green ability. Uh, if she has more AP and some number of colors than us, then she creates a critical tile. And then um, it's a, if, if it happens to be an even bigger discrepancy, then she'll create uh, damage behind that uh, critical tile. Uh, Mockingbird, her red ability bombshell costs nine, creates um, a two turn red countdown tile that when it reaches zero does damage uh, to the target. And then also to uh, if it happens to be at least one countdown tile on the board. Uh, so she'll take the damage as well. Uh, her yellow ability. Anytime we make a match for she uh, she takes some AP behind it. And if we make a match for and she happens to have six or more AP and whatever color that we make the match for in, she'll she'll have a, a random teammate fire off a of power so it'll be her firing off a of power uh because we're not gonna be having any special tiles on the board for loki to uh to have with his trickery so she'll either fire off her red ability or her purple ability um secret mission that cost eight ap um has an active and a passive component uh, so she'll steal AP and our strongest color and if she happens to have uh, at least 8 AP and and whatever AP pool it is they'll also do an additional amount of damage now a lot of people always forget about that portion there I know I certainly did then when I did the uh, the character breakdown I I remembered it and then finally Loki um, black trickery cost 11 the power is called trickery the color is black it costs 11 uh, he flip-flops attack tiles to strike tiles and strike tiles to uh, protect tiles Hang on. did I say strike tiles Strike tiles with protect tiles and protect tiles with strike tiles. Making sure I didn't say attack tiles, so covering myself. And then finally, his uh, green ability is called um, Mischief. Anytime we make a match for, he creates countdown tiles on uh, whatever we make a match for in, and then when those countdown tiles reach zero. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had to be because it's yeah PO box. And then, then he um he'll create uh, some number of uh, well he'll steal random AP and whatever you know whatever AP is available. Alright, since we gotta use Clint, I mean, I could use them again. So that way America doesn't do her shenanigans. But, um, now I'm bringing, bringing, uh, Red Hulk. Red Hulk and I'm a dance show. So that way we can keep the green consistent and then Clint's just there to um to pester his uh his ex-wife really didn't have much of a choice but to make a match for there probably won't be using any of uh Clint's arrows but then again you know I shall see. And that's another reason why I brought Red Hulk up in here. Because he'll... He'll do his thing. Uh, Gamma Siphon. 
create more critical tiles. Red Hulk's like, I don't care. Gamma Siphon again. I had a time where I kind of wanted Red Hulk to be out in front. There we go. <laughs> Again, the match four don't don't make a difference on uh on the uh team ups. Thank goodness they don't make a difference on team ups. And we'll make the match down here. Boom. Now that's that's the uh all the side pins. Now we got the uh the main event of the evening, and that's the uh challenge nodes. Bending the rules, collect 30 red AP. Um Increased chance to be blue. So, um, Killmonger, Killmonger and Karnak. And, uh, at least we don't have to deal with Karnak's um, oh, black ability where he would do increased damage. But Killmonger, uh, his, his black ability anytime um, we make a... Um, we make a match on a critical tile he will uh generate uh well he'll still <laughs> i'm overthinking it with killmonger killmonger uh when you make some when we make a match with a critical tile he will um Oh my goodness. I might as well just go ahead and look at Killmonger because I actually got him champion. Then it'd be fa be faster for me to, to say what repatriation is. Alright. So when we make a mac when we make a max power for greater, uh you will lock the critical tile and then um all critical tiles will come unlocked. If we make a match with the critical tile, this is the part that I was getting hung up at. <laughs> uh he'll still He'll still five red AP. If we can't do that, then he'll do uh, target damage instead. Now again, this here is at champion levels, so I doubt it's gonna be fourteen thousand. In an extreme prejudice, this costs nine red AP and it creates a critical tile uh, on the board, and it does uh, target damage. And then friendly matches in the enemy strongest color deals. Uh, a percent more damage. So if our strongest color happens to be red and they happen to match red, we're gonna get up an additional amount of damage. And then Karnak, um, his red ability called Shatter, destroys some number of selected uh, basic tiles on the board. Don't gain AP, but it. I know. You say if it's if it happens to select. If you happen to be a critical tile that happens to be selected, then uh, then the critical tile will be destroyed, or no, it'll remain on the board, and then it'll destroy the surrounding areas of the critical tile, and that costs eight AP. And then, uh, uh, was it Proven Strike? I think the blue ability is called, but. It creates a countdown, I mean, a critical tile on the board, and this costs 9 AP. Alright. So, we want to... So, we want to generate uh, red AP. So, let's... We haven't used Cyclops today, so Cyclops will be the guy that we're going to use. So, 
the Cyclops' blue ability is gonna help us generate uh, red. Yes, sir, right there upon the dresser. Right by the uh by the by the domes. It should be up there. Yeah, you can take them. I'll, I'll go to the store and get some more. Ain't no big deal. You are. Um, his uncanny strategy. Well, I'll actually look over his abilities real quick since this is for some people that might be the first time looking at Cyclops. And plus two, he's gonna be you. He's gonna be in Crash the Titan, so it's not gonna be a deep breakdown, but it's gonna be a you know an explanation as to why we're using Cyclops. All right, his blue ability call shot cost eight. Uh, it'll destroy um, destroy red tiles in a selected five by five area. I believe it's a five by five area. Yep. Uh, yeah. If there's any red basic strike attack or protect tiles, that'll be they'll be destroyed as well, and then we generate AP, and then we do some damage. Uncanny strategies. Um, it will uh, create a five turn countdown tile anytime that we make uh, matches on team up tiles. Uh, it'll give us AP in our strongest color, which our strongest color happens to be red. And then uh, I always forget about the increase in the duration uh, by one turn and then combine forces, which is something we're not going to use, uh, but it's 10 red. Uh, you select a a tile on the board, or a, a, a basic tile on the board. It it destroys the tile and deals target damage. If you have ten AP and team up tiles, then it will destroy the entire row. And it does additional damage. All right, so yeah, so Cyclops is gonna be our our guy here. I probably could use Valkyrie, but then that that depends on who is going to be the person that we need to target. Uh, Winter Soldier probably be a good option too, but it's gonna take a while to collect his AP. Iron Man 40 again, you gotta recharge twice, and and hope that your recharge you got enough recharge tiles to uh to finish off the fight here i'm gonna i'm gonna go out to killmonger but i'm gonna make sure that i don't make any available red matches or i should say red matches available for them purple we're cool with black we're cool with because again while black does does happen to give us some sort of damage it's not gonna be one of those things that's gonna you know kill us per se or put us in a hole i'll match this way because i want to keep the team of tile on the board well well count on tile but it's gone now called shot Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, because we want to maximize our team up top, one, one, two, three, four, five, so yeah, so it'll be this way. Do not make the match five, as much as it's tempting to, don't do it. Instead, go this way. Now again, couldn't couldn't avoid that match five. And that was from a cascade coming from the top. Again, we're gonna we're gonna wait for uh, <clears throat> some more red tiles to pop up on the board, like so, and we're gonna count out. We're gonna count on our our rows one two three four five. 
one, two, three, four, five. So here's the best option. We'll do an uncanny strategist. All right, gotta wait for some of your team up tiles to pop up on the board. I need, so we need at least, at least four, four red. And I only see three here, I only see three going that way. And so we're gonna have to make, we're gonna have to make a match over here. Uh, 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 uh. We don't want team ups. Let's see here. One, all right, we go five by five. That's only three. That'll only be the three. If I go here, that's still only three. And might now nah, actually there'll be four. Okay, I lied. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. As long as you get that extremity. So we got the Sanctum Sanctorum support. We'll look at that once we're once we're done. We'll look, open up the advanced supports and we'll talk about all the supports there. And then finally, the last one: collect 30 purple AP. Um, on your turn, new tiles have a chance to be enemy strike tiles. Um, Captain Marvel. Her black cost eight for time of barrage. Um, creates a five turn countdown tile that that creates strike tiles as the countdown tiles uh, continue to drop. I mean, continue to decrease when it reaches when it reaches zero. It does um, target damage to the target. Her yellow ability. Um, executive decision reduces the um, the timing for a countdown I mean, a targeted countdown tile to zero um, and then also when uh, the count countdown tiles reach, reach zero it strengthens any uh, a random random strike attack or protectile on the board and then her green ability, uh, energy absorption. Anytime that we make a match in our strongest color, she gains AP. Uh, and her team's strongest color, if our strongest color happens to match theirs, then then we're dealt uh, team damage. Medusa, her her yellow ability. Uh, anytime that we match a special to, uh an attack 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 protect or strike tile that belongs to them she gains uh a, a burst of health for the uh entire team uh but but if uh we met well okay let me rephrase that if any uh strike attack a projectile that belongs to Medusa's team is matched either by us or by them they gain a burst of health if if a strike attack a projectile that belongs to us is matched away they gain random AP and uh and a and a color uh with it with it at level one I think it's just I think it might just be uh red red green and blue or something it's something something that's not going to hurt us too much in the fight uh her red ability uh creates a countdown tile uh when it's matched away uh it creates two uh two attack tiles on the board and then um, hair metal, which is her purple ability, it costs 10, uh, does a 16 tile board swap. And if there are any 
enemy uh, attack protector strike tiles that happen to be entangled by it. Uh, those those are those are uh, converted to uh, Medusa's team, and then their their strength is increased by a certain amount. So here we're just gonna we're gonna roll with Hawkeye. Like I said, it makes no sense for us to roll with Valkyrie because, you know, it's not gonna do us any good because she needs part. She doesn't need purple. We could go with um, with my boy uh, Winter Soldier, but really won't like it, it's gonna be. A minefield trying to get enough purple on the board because we'll be linking purple into purple so why not go with Clint because Clint can heal I wish I could get rid of that countdown tile I mean that purple strike tile but alas I cannot I just have to deny yellow here. Don't get too strong on me now, because I'm, I am walking in, walking into a fight with uh, at, well, broken, beaten, and scarred. I'm at the bowler era here. I really wish I could bring in Foster or Hawkeye. I might have to just heal my Hawkeye. I think that's what I'm, that's what I'm really gonna have to do. Yep. Yeah. yeah, bring him in at uh, near near low health. Yeah. And I probably and I probably would have won there. Yep, if I'd have had more health. So that's that's something I needed to do. More health. Uh if you needed to, to boost purple, you could also boost purple, no problem. Drop it down so I can let them match that tile away. Oh, another strong, strong tile. Bola arrow, Master's green. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Well, at least she's stunned. Still probably gonna need a little bit more uh a little bit more strength. Yeah, definitely gonna need a little bit more strength. What I mean by that is um I gotta be more mindful of the tiles that I'm matching. That's that's what I meant by strength. Be more mindful of the tiles that I'm matching. 
I don't just aimlessly match a tile just because oh that, that happens to be a good colored tile or whatever we'll make a match five here set that up all right so we we don't want Carol to get too far out of control that benefits us a little bit Now Carol will be be missing in action for for a minute. All right. Nah, as much as you want me to match that, I'm gonna match the team up top. Make this match to help us make some more matches. All right. Nope. Match this one. All right. Now I gotta grab uh, some heels. Again. Grab some more. And there we go see and the strategy was to just be mindful of what in the world I was matching and then there's the Sanctum Sanctorum I had to look at my supports and see uh, do I have so what level is my Sanctum Sanctorum okay so so at least I'm gonna get at least a level 3 Sanctum Sanctorum so we'll look at we'll look at that we'll look at all this stuff that's up in the uh, up in the stores we got we got Odin up in the game I might pull I'm not gonna pull a 40 pack no I'll pull a I'll pull a pull one just to just for you guys and gals so let's take a look at the, uh, the support store uh, that's rotated this this time. Ooh, Carol Super Beepers up in here. Alright, that's one that I've been I've been really trying to hunt for, so maybe we got a chance to uh, to get it. Alright, so we got Ancestral Planes, um exclusive uh support for Black Panther. We got uh Atlantis uh which is Namor support. Uh, this is actually pretty good. It, um, at the start of the turn, what well, the start of the battle, you gain uh, three green AP, well five green AP. I wish we could select it so I could show you. Actually, I'll just do it, do it like like this, going into the uh, supports. Yeah, at the start of the battle at level, at rank three, gain five green AP. That's pretty good. And then this is the Black Panther one. This is the one that I got uh, the last time that uh, the support gauntlet was ran. This is all the way at level five. Uh, haven't really found a good use for it. Um, let's see. Carol Super Beeper. This here gives uh, the supported character a true heal anytime a. Um, special tile happens to be matched so that's you know works wonders with with beta ray build and there's challenge nodes another useful one with uh kitty pride uh chewy flurkin even though this is a another uh captain marvel support uh this works well with uh with kitty pride the five star uh, anytime that she makes a uh, a match, uh, at least that I think it's level was it level one or was it level three? See, I'm flip flopping through the supports and not actually giving you guys uh, an intelligent breakdown. 
Uh, but but this is the one that I have here. The flurking at level level three. Um, whenever she makes a match, because I gotta equip the kitty. Uh, there's a almost 38 percent chance to make an uh, attack tile. Uh, the second one, I mean, it's it's an alright benefit, an alright benefit, you know, where where if a powerful power, you know, there's a chance to remove an enemy special tile. The main thing I want is the attack tile. Uh, you pair up Kitty with uh, any with any of her X Men allies, specifically Wolverine or Professor X five star you can get some uh get some insane um strategies going at least with your attack tiles and whatnot corpus babe and every ma don't really have anything positive or negative to say about them um these are our villain supports uh, hope summers which i actually do have this to equip to my cable um it helps him um fortify hell does he help fortify does she help fortify any special tiles i think she might remove them uh i'll double check and see once we get down to the bottom uh Pocket radio. This one here is for um, for Dasser. Really haven't found a, a use for it. Shuri's lab. This one here is actually pretty decent. Uh, it helps you. It gains uh, AP for any fortified tiles that you happen to have on the board. At least if it's equipped to Shuri. Spider sense. Uh, anytime you make a I'm trying to think, is it match five? You create web tiles. I know that's with the uh, the homemade. Um, I, you know what? Let's let's actually look at those now. Uh, so while I'm while I'm brain farting, as I usually do. So let's see here. Hope Summers. Uh. Whenever supporting character makes a match, uh, less than 18% chance of improving this friendly special tile, uh, base green match is increased by, by 185, and then start of the battle, uh, create five, give a chance to gain five green AP, and then cable synergy perk, uh, Whenever the enemy team matches the charge tile, 41.87% chance to, to deal damage. Uh, Ebony Maw, this is what I actually use on my Thanos. Increase the match damage, uh, create an attack tile. Uh, there's a very small chance to create an attack tile. And then you can see uh, increased health. Uh, start of the battle, gain black AP, and then uh, chance to steal four random AP, call obsidian, um, create a protectile, increase green match damage, uh, max health is increased, uh, chance to gain three AP to start a battle, and then uh, Chance to destroy eight ra basic random tiles again. Not really that great. Spider sense. This is one I I never use, so I couldn't tell you obviously what it does. Um, supporting character takes less damage from enemy matches. Support characters match damage by green is increased. Uh, chance to green three green AP at the start of the battle. Uh, enemy powers. Uh, are reduced on from the supported character by by 330 or uh, I should just read what it said the supported characters and damage from enemy powers is reduced by 330 um, 
Start of the turn, uh, chance to create uh, protectiles, and then the synergy with uh, Infinity War Spider Man, um, new green, red, or blue tiles have about a 10%, that one less than less than 9% chance of being web tiles on Spider-Man's turn. Um, let me see here. Oh, Taskmaster Sword. Now, we'll get to Taskmaster Sword. Uh, Victorious, which is what I have equipped to my God Emperor Doom. Uh, when the supported character is healed, they heal for an extra amount. Uh, the supported character takes less match damage and uh, the anytime Gun Emperor Doom heals his allies uh, deal damage to the enemy team now it used to be uh, this actually used to be bugged with um, with Wolverine well I should say any character that that had a true heal um, so it would work on occasion where anytime that the person would heal, like in the case of Foster Wolverine, like if he healed, then the Victorious would trigger because it thought that God of Her Doom healed the, uh, <laughs> healed the, uh, the ally and you could trigger court death like pretty pretty easily within your second turn um lost gauntlets well i really really don't have anything good or bad to say about this here i mean except for the fact that uh that it helps in healing and increase your blue match damage and whenever hope van dyne makes hope van dyne makes a match five or greater um almost 50 percent chance of making a swarm tile. Uh, I think was Carol Core up on there. I think she, I think these here were. Oh, uh, in the pocket radio. Uh, the supporter character has a chance of improving it. A uh, strike tile. Uh, start of the turn. Uh, there's a chance to fortify a rant, random friendly special tile, and then if it's well, if you match the enemy strike tile, deal damage at level 5, and then here, since this is uh, more more keen to to go with 3-star Captain Marvel, uh, whenever she fires off a of power, there's, there's a chance to gain 2 red or 2 black AP. Uh, except for concludes, I remember seeing this one. Uh, this is Emma Frost support. Uh, whenever she fires off a of power, chance to steal through random AP. Uh, supported characters purple. Purple max damage is increased by 270, 247. And then finally, uh, enemy powers deal less damage for each fortified friendly tile on the board, max of six. I never get that one there to activate because I don't have any four to five tiles on the board. Uh, okay, Shuri's lab. So let's see here. Yeah, so that was the synergy perk that I mentioned about Shuri, where she gained, uh, it's, it's say she gains AP if there's at least four, four to five tiles on, <clears throat> on the board in that color. Uh, whenever the supporting character makes a match, is a chance to fortify a friendly special tile uh, green match damage is increased by 84 percent I mean we're 84 now 84 percent now if it was an 84 percent increase yeah that would be something and then level at rank three a chance to gain two red red AP whenever whenever they make a match on red uh, then at rank four and rank five supported um, red match damage is, is increased by 103 and then whenever supporting character makes a green match uh, chance to gain 2 extra green AP 
Now, all that there is cool. Um, this is what everybody's here for, Taskmaster Sword. <clears throat> um, a supported character deals extra damage to the heroes. Uh, and then rank three supported characters powers deal an additional amount of damage to enemies and then if you equip it to taskmaster whatever taskmaster fires off a power creates a strike tile the main thing you want with taskmaster sword is rank rank one or rank one and rank three so there you go um if there's any other support that i forgot which i'm pretty sure i did we'll go over them real quick uh oh sophisticated with uh vanessa fisk okay so that's the last one i gotta go over uh equipped to uh to either version of kingpin i got it equipped to the to the five star version because this one here really helps him out more than it does the four star version whenever friendly power is fired uh small chance to remove enemy special tile when the supported character fires off a power at rank three there's a chance to steal some random ap at rank five supported characters deal uh additional damage to enemies and then the synergy perk whenever kingpin makes a match there's a chance that he will reduce the strength of an enemy attack tile by 123 now that'll be useful against and carnage and the light but i digress all right so we didn't really look at the sanct sanctorum but i'll pull i'll pull out the advance and i'll pull out the beginners real quick but uh sanctum sanctorum well i can't really really select those there but as you know you do know i do have have one at level two uh, so there's a chance we can get a level three or a level five. So either way, I got one that's going to improve. <clears throat> so I rank one supported character takes 13% less damage from enemy matches at three. At the start of the battle, there's a, there's a chance to gain five yellow AP. And then at level rank five supported characters mass damp mass damage or excuse me from damage from enemy powers is reduced by a hundred <coughs> I mean eleven hundred and ten. Oh my goodness I need some water. And then the synergy perk with with either version of Doctor Strange, at the start of the battle, create one protect tile for every three blue tiles on the board. So if you happen to have um, 12 blue tiles on the board, you'll create four protect tiles. All right, Sanctum Sanctorum. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully something good. Well, there's a rank three. <clears throat> now I pull the last one. No, okay, just duplicates. No big deal. Ancestral planes. No sense in me pulling again, because again I got that at level five. So supports. I'm pull. I'm pull a handful of these here. Hopefully we get something useful. Well, I would prefer Carol Super Beaver. Okay, got a got a an additional perk to uh, hope hope summer. So that's at level three. Carol Super Beeper. All right, I got that, but I want the level three version of it though. So we'll pull to until I'm down to ten of these. Another Carol Super Beeper. And then pocket radio. I forgot to look at that. And I'll pull from the advance. Oh, I, I over pulled. Okay, so we'll pull here. I'm gonna pull pull twice. 
Okay. So nothing good there. Yeah, I overpulled. And then finally, Almighty Odin store. Um, got the brand new Odin increased odds for Manus. Again, you'll get get packs for these here for the uh, for the new PV e event uh lost in time well it's not really new but it's a new release for odin got a captain america there so that's it that's gonna do it for me unless i oh i got some puzzle gauntlet tokens too from the last time this here ran um i'll pull one and i'll save the rest of them for another time Aries, all right. Then we'll go on. We'll yeah, we'll go on on the, on the low note of Aries. So hopefully this video here uh, help you succeed in in this running of the puzzle gauntlet. I know this is probably something similar. Well, well, it is similar to the one when it originally ran. So hopefully. The tip, the tips, tip, tips, tricks, and strategies to help you guys out, guys and gals out. So I'm gonna oh play me some yakuza and enjoy the rest of my night, so I can prepare this grind for uh for Odin. Uh.